hey everybody, welcome to episode number 358 of It'll Be Fine. I'm your friend and your pal Kelly Zimnikas, and as we do each week on the show, along with my guest, we dive into a dish that neither of us has ever made before, or, as in the case today, my guest has done this before, but I have not. So, the teacher is about to become the student and learn how to make Nanaimo bars. A Canadian delicacy, tradition, lauded, applauded. Oh my God, these are so damn good. It's that yellow filling in the middle. I don't know what the hell it's made out of, but we're about to find out. And uh, joining me on the show today is a guest back for her second appearance. Uh, she was last here when we made macarons and it sent me into a tizzy. Just watch this but there's some do you think you're gonna be able to pipe it i feel like that's thin like mine's very thick yeah like, oh yeah yours really is um i think we both like if we could hybrid our recipes it would be the right thing but i think neither of us right <laughs> kirsten finch is back on the show we're off to halifax to make the nanaimo bars Oh, it's going to be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Hey, Kelly, how are you? I'm so good. I like how above your head it looks like you have a halo. Oh yes, did it's I tell you? I have a new I have a new job as God. Hello. Oh, thanks for taking my call, God. I appreciate it. What what can I do for you, Margaret? Is it about your period? Uh it is. Um okay. can I tell you <laughs> Judy Bloom needs to write a sequel. You you were first on episode sixty nine, and this is episode three hundred and fifty eight. Oh my god, I was first on episode 300 or wait 69 <laughs> it's been oh. almost 300 episodes <laughs> that's insane it's nuts yeah. it's it's wacky um but i love that you're back and i love that we're making nanaimo bars we're doing it a canadian classic even though i'm on the wrong on the wrong coast it's fine i'm we're already good. eating chocolate chips yeah, no, I tr I'm trying to stop eating my my chocolate chips. I have to look say at you. You've got you've got everything prepared. I'm like not reaching at all. No, do your thing. I still have to melt some butter. Um, and uh, I do have one most important question for you with the recipe that we're using. Yes. Does it say anywhere on there? what the oven temperature needs to be. Is there any baking involved in this or does this just go straight to the fridge? I think it might just be, well, that, like we melt stuff in the microwave. So it's just that. Yes. Right? Because yeah. sometimes with this stuff, you bake the crust for a moment. Let me just see. Let me, I haven't like, re, I haven't read it. <laughs> I haven't like read it. Stir. Yeah. Again, stir and remain and press firmly. Then do we Spread just spread over bottom it? layer? Yeah, this is like light baking. This is like debatably baking. <laughs> that should be a name for a new baking show. Debatably baking. Debatably baking. Here, the biggest question is: do I have enough butter? I have exactly enough butter. This is all oh, budgicles. Yeah. You know what? Are we recording right now? We are, but I don't need to use it. What? No, you should. I just want to make sure okay. because I'm going to use your phrase. I don't have enough butter, but it'll be fine. I'll oh, use margarine. <laughs> but the little cheat is I actually, I, I'm going to let you in on this secret. Ooh. To make it really good, you should actually increase the middle layer. Like, you know, like the yellow icing layer. Increase it by like 50%. Oh. That's absolutely. what I'm going to do. You live your best life. You do the recipe however you want. But I'm telling you, 
It's the best when you increase it by 50%. <laughs> and then this it's product powder where there's only there only is one brand. I think it's from the 1950s. They have not updated mm -hmm. the packaging at all. And you can only use this product to make Nanaimo bars. There's no other known use for it in the world. And you use it two tablespoons at a time. And I will be passing this on in my will. There's no way I'm using this much for Nanaimo bars. Like I would have to, or like I could start an entire factory you could with this can. Been. Yeah. Might need That's... two cans for a lifetime of factory level Nanaimo bar production. I love it. Um, That's I how think I feel that... about this. Yeah. I, I literally <laughs> give it to people because I'll make my Nanaimo bars and people will be like, oh my God, so good. Here, what, yeah. How do I make this? And I'll be like, here's the recipe. By the way, I'm going to bring you two tablespoons of this because you're never yeah. going to use it again in your life once you make it. An ungreased pan. Yeah, I think it's pretty oily. Yeah. I know, but I just, I don't know. I find it a hassle to get it out. Like, live your best life. If you have yeah. trust in, like, your, your getting out skills. I'm going to use this. I feel that's wise. Yeah. That's my vibe. I did get out for you um, my finest Pyrex dish from the 60s. Look. Oh, I love it. I love it. Ooh, I'll get my grandmother's. I actually have my grandmother's bowl here. This is one of her bowls. We oh, used wait, to make. Wait, wait. I got this one. Yeah, because we I called it Jello Bowl. Okay, yeah. so for the bottom, I'm electing to use margarine because it's what I have. Okay. Because I'm saving all my delicious butter for the middle. Oh. All right. I'm gonna put this in the bottom too. Okay. Right. Help this out. Um. So there's some crumbs in my margarine, but. It's just going to make the Nanaimo, it's just going to give texture. Yes. Is what's going to happen. And I also think you should call Crumbs in My Margarine an album or a song. <laughs> my, grapes, my butter as well. Uh, to start us off for the bottom layer, we need one stick of butter because that's half a cup. Or you can use the margarine. Uh, you know. Like oh. I am. Yeah. Which is fine. I didn't have enough butter. Yeah. So my melted butter. They said it's yes. often, but we're doing melted because I just want my life to be easy and it'll form up in the friggin' fridge. Okay. I'm putting a quarter cup of white sugar in. Yes. All the stuff for the middle is mixed in together. Right. I've got my egg. Should we do like two minutes? Okay, stir the remaining ingredients. I put it in for a minute, and we're just going to see how hot it is. Okay. Because we're not trying to do, like, scrambled eggs. Right. We're not. Okay. No, no. We're just, I don't, I don't even, it'll, it'll work out. <laughs> Another show. Okay, um, so I have a minute. Like, okay, I'm going to do this too. So it doesn't, oh, it's thickening, it's working. It is working. It is thickening this. That is. Yeah, I think I'm all right. This looks right. It almost looks like like fudge, like chocolate pudding. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't turn it down. No. All right. Okay. There we, we go. Okay. So you're still doing stand up? Oh yeah, yeah I am. Actually, oh, today today was a big day. Uh, today, oh. my very first check from my album sales. Oh, okay. congratulations! I where is your album available? I need to listen to it. Obviously, it's on all the things: uh, uh, Bandcamp, Spotify, Apple Music. And just Kelly Aya Zanikis. Did I say that right? You said my name right. Um, the album, though, is called It's a Lot Easier to Find This Way Sugar and Spice and Smirnoff Ice. Grand Crackers have turned. What's that? <laughs> what they're are fine. We... Nope, they're turned. Okay. We need the notes. I have a backup Graham Cracker. Oh. So they only make this like once a year. So inevitably, oh. my Graham Crackers go sale. I love it. 
You know what I did for my graham cracker? I got Oreo crumbs. Oh, you're living your best life. Yeah. I think I think that'll be good. Uh, and I do have some fun coconuts. Yay. Yeah. All right. So my nuts are. I'll, like, I'll flip this down. Use a bowl that's this big. Use a bowl that's bigger than your head. Okay. <laughs> if you can wear the bowl as a hat, that is an appropriately sized bowl. Yes. Okay, I'm playing with fire here. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna try to forge ahead, but it's. I, love I don't it. know. It's not looking promising. I love that you did that, and then I just just jumped ahead to the end. Um, You're just like, are we at the icing yet? <laughs> I mean, that's how we all feel, right? That's how I feel about life in general. Are we at the icing yet? Then we're gonna add this part to this part. <laughs> Okay, how much butter for the next part? Is it another four tablespoons? Four tablespoons. Okay. All right. This is a butter forward recipe. I'm still licking. Today's episode is brought to you by butter. <laughs> <laughs> Today's recipe, <laughs> recipe is also sponsored by diabetes. <laughs> hey, do you hate having your cholesterol under control? Why not consider Nanaimo bars? Have you given up? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Are your going? I do. I do have two cameras going. Look, it looks like a face. Oh, there we go. Gosh, this is looking gorgeous. Holy crow. All right. In the fridge or uh, freezer? I would say like fridge. And the trick okay. is. Yeah. See, I jiggle mine. You can't see me. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle to get the top flat. Oh, good call. Okay. That's what I do. And then I put it in the fridge. Okay. And then it's like a little bit scent. You got to score it. Oh, right. Right. Okay. So it's been about a half an hour. Um, I have taken the bar out of the fridge as per Kirsten's instructions, and now we are going to make some cuts. Ta da! <laughs> All right, just gonna keep going. Ta da! There we go. I cannot wait to eat these back in the fridge. We are doing it. This is what mine's looking like. So I've got some, got some good layer. Mm. And you notice, like, look how thick my icing layer is compared to yours. <laughs> this is Mama so likes her butter. Clearly. All right, are we ready? Look at you. You got a fork. Cheers. Butter for tea. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Is there anything more Canadian? This is really good. The filling in the middle is perfect. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. My chocolate, I feel like could have a little bit more of a crunch to it, but maybe in the morning once it's set a bit longer, because we've given it yeah. about two hours. So we were we were maybe over that one. But, but the mm. base is perfect. The mm. filling is great. The chocolate's delicious, but it just needs to be a little harder for me. But I think that's fair. I like it a little bit mushy, but I think my chocolate is perfect, but I like my icing a little more set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So friends, mm. um, keep this longer in the fridge, but we just don't have the self-restraint for that. I know we were all like, see you tomorrow. Send me a video. And then it was like two hours later. Can you get on the phone like, now? <laughs> like, can you get on the phone right now? Mm. Oh my and god. My I like sat around with this like beside me for like an hour while I was like doing dishes, and, like cleaning up. So I made like the most complicated dinner, but whatever. <laughs> I know. I did like just a simple pasta dinner for everybody. But there's like 20 bajillion dishes in my kitchen right now, so.
fun, fun. Sure. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Thank you for oh, of course. All of this. This of course. is awesome. Oh my I gosh. I can't wait to be on the 639th episode. That's the rate that we're going at. <laughs> It'll be fine.